In this first question, we're asked to determine what the frequency is of a wavelength that measures in at 20 micrometers. In order to do that, we have to use the following equation. The speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. That equation is only possible, of course, because all forms of electromagnetic radiation travel at the same speed, the speed of light. We're given, of course, our wavelength as being equal to uh, 20 micrometers, or 20 micrometers, depending on which syllable you're emphasizing. And we know the speed of light to be equal to 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. What in the world is our frequency, the unknown variable we're trying to determine? Well, it's going to be equal, using the magic of algebra, to the speed of light divided by the wavelength. The units on these have to match, though. The speed of light units that we have right here are meters per second. Our wavelength units are in micrometers. I'd like to do this by converting the micrometers into meters. We do that using uh, dimensional analysis. Of course, we can write down that 20 micrometers is our wavelength right there. In the denominator, we want to cancel out the units micrometers, so I'm going to put micrometers in the denominator. I want to eventually convert this into meters. The reason is because meters are the length units in my uh, value of speed of light. So I'll put meters in the numerator, keeping in mind that micrometers and meters can be directly related to each other. In one meter, how many micrometers are there? There are 1 times 10 to the 6th, and that should be something that you memorize. The micrometer units cancel each other out. 20 divided by 1 times 10 to the 6th equals 20 times 10 to the negative 6th meters. Now I need to solve for my uh, frequency. Frequency is once again equal to the speed of light divided by wavelength, which is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, divided by my wavelength, which is 20 times 10 to the negative 6th meters. You'll notice that the meter units cancel each other out, and I end up with units of inverse seconds, which happen to be the units for frequency. The units of inverse seconds can be read as per second. Okay, that sounds weird, but it's true. So mathematically, I've determined this to come out to be uh, 1.5 times 10 to the 13 inverse seconds. And that is the frequency of this type of electromagnetic radiation. In the second problem in this set, we're asked what the wavelength is of a radiation that has a frequency of 6.2 times 10 to the 12th inverse seconds. Once again, we know that the speed of light is equal to wavelength times frequency. As we just barely did, we were given a wavelength and asked to determine the frequency using the magic of algebra. We know what C is. It's the speed of light 3 times uh, 10 to the 8th meters per second. In this particular case, we've been given a frequency and we're asked to calculate the wavelength. Wavelength alge algebraically is going to be equal to C divided by nu, which is, of course, the speed of light divided by the uh, frequency, which is 6.2 times 10 to the 12th inverse seconds. Now this is interesting because inverse seconds is really a set of units in a denominator. You could think of this as being over seconds. I've got inverse seconds in the denominator of this fraction. It's in the denominator of the denominator, actually, which means that it's actually in the numerator. So once again, having a unit or a value in the denominator of a denominator is the same thing as having it in the numerator. So that means that if I've got a seconds over here and this guy's already in a denominator, these two seconds cancel each other out. Hopefully that makes sense. I throw that mathematically in there, plug and chug using my calculator, and the answer that I came up with is 4.84 times 10 to the negative fifth meters. You might remember from our previous question, uh, so this was the answer to option B. In our previous question, answer A, uh, we determined the um, frequency to be equal to 1.5 times 10 to the 13th inverse seconds. And uh, question C from this problem set asks us, would the radiations in parts A and B be visible to the human eye? In order to determine that, you need to look at the uh, figure of the, electromagnet of the electromagnetic or EM spectrum and determine if uh, a form of EM radiation having this wavelength or this frequency lies in that narrow band of visible light. I'll let you do that on your own. In part D of this question, we're asked, what uh, distance does EM radiation travel in 150 nanoseconds? We have to remember that all EM radiation travels at the same speed. It doesn't matter if you're talking about radio waves or gamma waves. All EM radiation or forms of EM radiation travel at the speed of light, which is, once again, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. If I've got a form of EM radiation uh, that is obviously traveling at this speed and it goes for 150 nanoseconds, what is the distance that it travels? In order to do that, I, of course, am going to use dimensional analysis. 
150 nanoseconds does not have units that match my seconds over here in my speed of light, so I'm going to have to convert it. Because I have nanoseconds in the numerator and I want to get rid of them, I'm going to put nanoseconds in the denominator. What units am I trying to go to? Well, I want to have seconds so that my units here match my units in the speed of light. So I'm going to put seconds in the numerator. How many nanoseconds are there in one second? Well, I remember that nano is associated with the number 9 because both of them start with the letter N. So uh, one second happens to be 1 times 10 to the 9th nanoseconds. So 150 nanoseconds divided by this number is going to give me my seconds because my nanoseconds cancel each other out. I'll let you do the calculations on this one. You will get a value here. And whatever value that happens to be, you can multiply that because this is time. This is the time that your uh, EM radiation is traveling. You can multiply that by, uh, by speed. And that should equal distance. You can also see that because this guy has units of seconds, and this is meters per second. If you take uh, the seconds and multiply it by something with this set of units, you should end up with uh, something that has a value of meters. I'll let you do that on, the, on your own and see if you get the right answer.